So now let's talk briefly about actually taking these quizzes and tests and final exams. All of these are found in the modules. They're located in what I hope are natural locations. So the section quizzes are in the section module. So section 1.1, the quiz is at the end. The chapter tests are after the last section in the chapter. So the chapter one test is after the last chapter one section. And then the final exam at the end. So let's take the section 1.1 quiz. We see any introductory remarks I have, we see that there is no time limit, and we see that we have unlimited attempts, just like I said in the previous video. So we press begin. And we can see all of the questions. I'm not going to take this in front of you. I'm going to pause the video. Um, before I do that, you see a little calculator icon up here. You're supposed to be able to press this and a calculator will pop up. Um, I some, I'm, I'm warning you, I sometimes, when I'm messing around in student view, have had problems with this. I've had tests where I've set the test to show this calculator, but the icon is blurred out and I can't click on it, and I can't figure out why. So I very strongly recommend having a physical calculator when you're taking these things and not relying on this built-in calculator. I mean, this is pretty awkward to use anyway, and you can't graph on it. Let me pause while I take this quiz. Or actually, let me make a few comments as I go. So uh, the first comment I want to make is that Canvas does not accept fractions. So I say this explicitly the first time it shows up. Your answer needs to be given as a decimal. And you see that sometimes I tell you how many decimal places to round to. I do that down here. And sometimes I don't. And if I don't, it should mean you're getting a nice decimal, maybe two decimal places or three decimal places. And I just want the whole thing. Like here, the answer to this is negative one over five, which is negative point two. So I just give the entire decimal. Here, the answer is well, let me uh let me see the square root of 10 plus 4, press enter, and you see we get some ugly lengthy decimal. And so I tell you how many decimal places I want this rounded to. I want it rounded to two decimal places, 7.16. 
And now I really will pause this. Okay, so I've given numerical answers where asked for and selected multiple choice answers where I was asked to do that. And now let's submit this quiz. And I got nine out of 10. And um, that was intentional. I made a rounding error. Or really a calculator entry error. But you see the incorrect answer is marked in red. You can see what I entered. You can see what I should have entered. And you can see feedback what I was supposed to do in order to get this answer. Um, that feedback is provided for correct answers as well. Just if you're studying an old quiz and you don't remember how you got something or it's a multiple choice question and you didn't know the answer and you guessed and you guessed right, but you still want to see if, where that correct answer came from, you can always see your feedback. So we can press return and you see this one next to your grades showing us that we have a new grade in our grade book. And um, if we want to retake this quiz, if we go to our grade book and we um, click that link, we get taken back to here. How we did, um, how long we took, all of the feedback, the question we got wrong. And then to retake the quiz, we, we take it again. We can, we can do that from here. Press take now. Press begin. And we are ready to go a second time. Um, let me pause this briefly. Say that we start a quiz and then we realize that we have absolutely no idea what we're doing. So we want to just end it and come back to it. We can, sorry, Canvas has suddenly decided to, to make a fool of me. Let me pause this. Here we are. I wasn't seeing these buttons for some reason. But we can suspend a quiz, we can press return, and then when we want to start it again, we can press resume, and the answers that we had already entered were saved. So that's quizzes. Tests and the final exam are, are going to be similar to this. So if we go back to the modules and we find the chapter one test, here we go. And we click it. You see, there is a time limit now, and you do not see the thing about being able to retake this because you can't. But if you press begin,
This is then taken in the same way that a quiz is taken. Um, the only thing I want to warn you about, this return button is a trap. You see, we, I'll press this when we have, when we're at 159.30. So the trap is that it looks as if this test has been suspended, but it hasn't been. That two-hour timer is still running. If we press the resume button, you see that time has passed. But otherwise, we take this test just like we took the quiz. Let me, uh, I'm going to just um, put some answers here at random for time reasons. Let me still pause this. Okay, I've and just answered zero for everything and selected at random on the multiple choice. So don't don't take your tests like I just took this one, but we submit it in the same way. And it's graded. And you see we got whatever grade we got. Uh, just putting zero for everything did not turn out super well for us. But just like with the quizzes, we can see feedback for all of the test problems, whether we got them right or wrong. And if we return, this test is now in our grade book. Let's see, somewhere, ah, up here. So we can see what grade we got. If we click on this, we can once again look at here's here are all the problems, here's what we got right, here's what we got wrong, here's the feedback. You don't see the retake the test um, option because you um, can only submit tests once. And, and then the final exam is just like this. Press the button. Press begin. Come on. And here we go. So that's um that's how you take the quizzes, tests, and final. Um as a Quizzes are 50% of your grade. The tests taken all together are 30%, and the final exam is 20%.